Okay, also this one is how to draw a loose structure. I'm just going to do these parts from A to E, and then uh, you'll know how to draw a loose structure. So to draw a loose structure, it's very simple. First step, I always like follow these steps, okay, is uh, add valence electrons. Tamam? Add Vs. Type. In this case, it's going to be 1 plus 1, which is 2. Second step, draw your skeleton. So it's going to be H, H. Tamam. Third step is uh distribute sorry no subtract the bonded electrons fourth step uh, satisfy needed octets type let's go add valence electrons we did we got two two is to draw the skeleton we drew it three is to subtract the bonded electrons I have one bond and each bond represents two electrons so let's subtract we're left with zero electrons so since we're left with zero we can't really do much uh, we can't like uh, satisfy any more need octets but we take a look are they happy you need to know that H doesn't need eight H is an electron deficient atom Mashi if it's happy with two we don't care it says oh I have two alhamdulillah I have two you know he's a really grateful guy he doesn't care okay if uh, that's why H H is correct Type. Let's take a look uh, at PF5. PF5. First step, add valence electrons. P is 5. F is 7 times 5. Why 7 times 5? Because it's 5 Fs. Each F, F is 7. Anyway, so you get uh, 42. Sorry, shoo. Yeah, 42 valence electrons. Second step, draw the skeleton. To draw the skeleton, obviously, you're not going to have F connected to Ps. It's 1P, so no, obviously, yani, it doesn't take that much common sense to know that P is going to be your central atom right f f f f meshi third step subtract the bonded electrons if i subtract how many bonds do i have one two three four five and each bond is 10 electrons so 42 minus 10 so 32 valence electrons Tamam. fourth step is satisfy the needed octets f is not uh, electron deficient f needs an octet it already has two coming from the bond how many does it need to become eight six so we give it six one two three four five six we're gonna do this for all five F's so let's do it really quickly all right and you need to know these are called lone pairs you distribute them in terms of lone pairs tamam so we satisfied the needed octets yeah, if I added wrong, I just figured out that um, 5 plus 7 times 5 is not 42, it's 40. Oh my god. Uh, if, um, this is going to be 30. Anyways, so we satisfied the needed octets. After you satisfy needed octets, basically means, to satisfy needed octets, basically means distribute. As you can see, we distributed 6, 6, 6, 6, 6. So we distributed how many electrons? 30. So do we have any electrons left to play with? No. So this is your final structure. Let's do part C. S, E. F6. First step, I think uh, selenium is group 5. Not sure. Yeah, group uh, group 6. Okay, selenium and sulfur, they're under each other. Okay, so first step, add your valence electrons. So 6 plus 6 times 7. So uh, this is um, 48. Alright. Um, then second step, draw the skeleton. Obviously, selenium is central. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, F, 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 F. Third step, subtract the bond electrons. We have six bonds, so we subtract 12, because each bond represents two. Tamam. Uh, and uh, third, fourth step is satisfy the need octets. As you know, each fluorine has two. It needs to become eight, so f if it has two to become eight, it needs six more. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. In the exam, make it sh like proper shaded circles, visible circles, Mashi. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, subtract. How many did we use? We used six across six atoms. Six times six is 36. So we used 36 in this process of satisfying octets, and we have zero. Tamam. Now, you need to know that some people might ask in the previous example, PF5, and now in selenium, SE. SE has more than 8. Is that a problem? No. Because these are atoms that can add. They can have more. They can have extra. They're not going to complain. The only four elements that we say religiously obey the octet rule are Knopf. 
Carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine. These are four elements that they can't have more than eight or less than eight. They have to have eight, okay? Unless, unless the atom is broke and it actually doesn't have any electrons. All right, part D, you have COCl2. When you see something like this, what I like to do is actually I split it up into two things, okay? So I do CO alone, okay, when drawing the skeleton. Then I just bond it to the Cl. Mashi, this is how I always do it. Don't say, oh, O is in the middle. Yani, it's going to be like this. Absolutely not. Okay, don't do this, Mashi. Anyways, so you get CO and Cl2. Okay, Ek. it doesn't really matter how you draw it. But anyway, okay, there's someone's going to come say, bro, the first step is to add the valence electrons. Okay, okay Mashi, let's add the valence electrons. Uh, boo, 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 boo. Here, uh, CO, Cl2. Valence electrons, 4 plus 6 plus uh, 7 times 2. You get 10 plus 14, 24 valence electrons. So now, second step, draw the skeleton. Like I told you, CO, then get your other CLs. Meshi. If you always, always, if you're, if you're confused as which atom will be your central atom, take this as a rule from Walid that carbon will always be central. No matter what, carbon is always central. Machine. Anyways, as a second step, draw skeleton. Third step is to subtract the bonded electrons. How many bonded electrons? We have two, four, six, right? So you're going to get 18 valence electrons. Tamam. Fourth step is satisfy the octets. Cl and O both need to be full, right? Uh, and they each have two right now, and they need eight. So we're going to give them each six valence electrons. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. You just gave them six, 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 six. So that's 18. How many do I have left? Zero. Someone come and say, bro, 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 bro. C ain't satisfied. It only has six. So what do you do in this case? You got to make something a double bond. Yeah. For over here, like I told you, this carbon ain't happy. It has six only. Uh, it needs to be eight. But what do you do? In this case, what you always do is basically he calls one of the lone pairs and he says bro i'm gonna need you to share okay because he did have to do that now you can tell me do i take from the o or do i take from the cl you always take from the most electronegative atom i gave you this before i'm gonna give it to you again Falkland brisk which one's the most electronegative out of o and cl cl isn't even here that's how shit it is so o is the most electronegative okay for that's why he goes to o he calls him he says yo i'm gonna need you to share this for this lone pair turns into a double bond and this is your Lewis structure. Mashi. Okay. Uh, part E. Last one. C2H2. 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 Again. First step. Add valence. So this is going to be 4 plus 4 plus uh, 2. Which is 10. Second step. Draw your skeleton. Like I told you. Uh, C's will always be in the middle. Okay. Uh, and then you have. A third step is subtract the bonded electrons. How many bonds do you have? One, two, three. Uh, each bond represents two electrons for minus six. So it's going to be four electrons left. Fourth step is to satisfy the needed octets. Okay. Who isn't happy? Carbon. Hydrogen will always be happy. He's this guy. He's, he's always happy. So what do we do? We need to give carbon the four electrons. Mashifa. When you look here, the problem is this guy still isn't happy. He has two here, two here, and two here. That's six. So what's he going to do? He's going to call this guy over here. He's going to tell him, yo, I'm going to need to share a lone pair. If he cancels this and turns it into a double bond. Type OK. So this carbon now has 2 plus 4, that's 6, plus 2 is 8. So he has 8. But this carbon has 2 plus 4, 6. He still needs 2. For what does this carbon do? He calls this carbon. He says, yo, I shared my lone pairs. You have to share your lone pairs. If he cancels this one out and becomes a triple bond. Just like that. Meshi. So triple bonded carbon, you have hydrogen, hydrogen. Now this carbon's happy, this carbon's happy. This is how the loose of CH, C2H2 is. Nashi. And then dotted and cross is easy, it's from Zaman. So that's why I'm not repeating it. Yani. Okay, uh, you can look at it, it's very easy. Okay, thank you so much for watching and uh, good luck in your exam.